Papa, Anna Marie had said, finally, into the silence. Sometimes I wonder why the king wasn't able to protect us. Why didn't he fight the Nazis so that they wouldn't come into Denmark with their guns? Papa sighed. We are such a tiny country, he said, and they are such an enormous enemy. Our king was wise. He knew how few soldiers Denmark had. He knew that many, many Danish people would die if we fought. In Norway they fought, Anna Marie pointed out. Papa nodded. They fought very fiercely in Norway. They had those huge mountains for the Norwegian soldiers to hide in. Even so, Norway was crushed. In her mind, Anna Marie had pictured Norway as she remembered it from the map at school, up above Denmark. Norway was pink on the school map. She imagined the pink strip of Norway crushed by a fist. Are there German soldiers in Norway now, the same as here? Yes, Papa said. In Holland, too, Mama added from across the room, and Belgium and France. But not in Sweden, Anna Marie announced, proud that she knew so much about the world. Sweden was blue on the map, and she had seen Sweden, even though she had never been there. Standing behind Uncle Henrik's house, north of Copenhagen, she had looked across the water, the part of the North Sea that was called the Kattegat, to the land on the other side. That is Sweden you are seeing, Uncle Henrik had told her. You are looking across to another country. That's true, Papa had said. Sweden is still free. 